Hi everyone, Will again here. So it's um, Tuesday evening, I'm just off going to do the evening check on you. So the tops have now been to one side, so I'm going to catch you guys up on how they're doing. Also, we've got a big surprise that I'm going to show you guys in a little bit. But first of all, I'd just like to say, if you do enjoy the video today, guys, please give it a massive like. If you want to see more stuff like this, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon because then you get to see all the updates when we do new videos. And all the new videos are every Wednesday and Saturday at half seven. Cheers guys, I hope you enjoyed today. So it's been a really busy week this last week. So we had the farm sale last week, the same day I made a little trip up to Carlisle to go and pick up something, you guys will soon see. As well as that, um, we've started cultivations at home, so we've had granddad ploughing, um, dad's been drilling, I've been doing a bit of rolling and ploughing, so that's another video that's going to come at the weekend, just haven't had time to edit that yet. It was meant to be today, but we swapped it around a little. But yeah, so um, we're going to crack on, I'll show you the surprise and we'll see what you think of it. So we've just got down to the ULAMs now, we're just doing a normal check. We've got Jeff in the background unloading some round bales there, we got some hay we bailed a week ago. Hasn't got wet luckily, so just putting that in that barn now. But yeah, um, you guys might just be thinking why I'm at the ULAMs and why I'm filming on an update video for the Tuppin. Well, the surprise is coming guys. He is coming and he's over there. So wait and see. We're just nearly there. So here he is guys, this is the surprise. So this is the new top and he's in with the ULAMs. So he is called Not Malt Ignacio and he's from a breeder called Russell Millen. He's a really smart top, really powerful. I'll just show you, try and get a bit more of a clip around him. So here he is, there you go. There you go lad. As is, like every other um, sheep on the farm, it's a pedigree clint and we bought him from Carlisle last week. So some of you guys might be wondering why I'm so excited, but this is because I've had this in the pipeline for the last three or four months. I've been chatted to Russell so much. He's probably so bugged with me. So I've been messaging him a lot on Facebook. He's from Ireland, I forgot to say, Northern Ireland. So he's come quite a way to get here. We've been sharing photos, videos, and finally we have got him back home. But I didn't want to tell any of you guys this before because I bought him at auction. So it was a bit of a gamble. We've already got four tups on the farm, but I fell in love with this guy this moment I saw him a few months ago and I really couldn't say no. Well then when you're looking at tups, if you see one you like, you should get it because you'll only regret it if you don't. So that's what I've done. I went up to Carlisle, I put a commission bid on the phone. Uh, I put a commission bid over the book and then uh, I ended up with him. So I'm really lucky. Real good value for money, this chap, and I uh, can't be happier, really. As you guys all probably realise, all the tups are already in with the other ewes. So the plan with the new tup, he's going to be in with the ewe lambs that um, are at the right weight for the next 10 days. And then he's going to work as a sweeper tup, so we'll take all the other tups out of their groups. And then we're going to put all the ewes together, and the new tup's going to go in as a sweeper tup. So what that means is he's going to clear out any ewes that haven't been tupped or come over again when they're cycling, and that's the plan. A um, bit of a change of plan this year, but I really want to see what his offspring's like, so want to get want to get him in and see what he's like. And if any of you guys are worrying, all the ewe lambs he's gone to are 50 kilos or more, so well heavy enough for being tupped. It just should give him some um, ewes to go out, really, and get some progeny from him. He'll hopefully tup a few ewes, but I'm hoping not a lot, because then all the tups will have done the jobs properly. But now we're going to have another look at him quickly. Then we'll go and catch up and see how the other ewes are doing. Hello, boy. There you go, So a couple of things I just wanted to tell you guys that might be more interested in the cleanse. So this tup is out of a Dylan Jones tup, which was purchased in 2018 for four and a half thousand guineas. He's really well bred. His mum was 2012 born, so he's got a lot of longevity in him. He's got a really nice skin, got really nice pastons. So when I'm at pastons, he walks square. If you look, 
his legs go forward and back, they don't go side to side. Then just got a nice front end and he should fit in well here at home. So I'll now go and have a look at the ewes and show you guys how they're getting on. Oh yeah, forgot to mention he's actually been in here a few days and he's took four ewe lambs too. So just so you know his numbers before we carry on. Stepped into my life, such a magic feeling. We tore down my walls. I wish I could go back to right before you told me. So I'm just down at the first group now. So we're going to go reverse order to last time. We're at hashtag first this time. So these shoes are all black. They'll have had black rattle on them. So what we're going to do is actually count which bums haven't been tucked this time because it's just a lot easier. So as we walk along these now, if any of you guys do see a bum that's not being tucked, comment in the comment section below. But currently I can't see anything that's not being tucked. So these should all have black bums. And there's 31 years in here. So here they all are. Just keeping an eye out. There's just a few coming out of the trees there. Last two there. So they've both got black bums you two have, yeah. So, we'll walk on the just give a bit more a look, but I think all these have been tucked. Just looking now. I can't see any without black bones. No. So that's a really good start. We've done been to the first group now, hashtag 31 out of 31 tucked in this first cycle. For you guys that were wondering, a cycle is 17 days and it's the amount of time in between each time you use on heat. So this means when they use on heat they can be tucked and they can be impregnated. So yeah, that's the first 31 checked and there's 31 being tucked, so a really good start. We're now going over to the homebred tuck to check him. So I'm now down at the second group and as I said before this is the homebred tup so there he is over there. We'll count how many don't have red bums and see how we're getting on here. We get walking through these now. As you can see Terry is still in because he is actually impossible to catch so Terry's by the actual tup is actually done no harm so nothing wrong there. But currently everything I can see has a red bum apart from Terry and the tup which you could actually know so now the tup has a red bum too. And um, going through these, I think we're lucky with these too. Oh no, there's one there without a red bum. If any of you guys see one without a red bum, please tell me as well because I might miss them. And I think there's another. So unfortunately, in this group, we've got two that haven't been tucked in the first cycle. So I may actually have a bit of an ex mate. So I may actually have a bit of an explanation for this. So the two that haven't been tucked actually homebred ewes that had lambs as lambs. So we only wean these off a few weeks before the tuck go went in. A lot of them have already got into lamb, but these two haven't, and that might be one of the reasons. I do think they'll get in lamb. They're fit enough and well enough. So sorry that was the train, but as we were saying, they're fit enough and well enough and they look fine. So I'll keep you updated on them, but they should be tucked in the next few days when they come into heat. But that might be the reason and um, yeah, we'll crack and check the other group. I'll show you a quick look at the top again for you guys that haven't seen him already. So here he is with all his ladies. This is Cowley Hill Ignite My Fire. So as I've told most of you before, he's out of a gold is you and out of Bronald Gwyn. But yeah, so in here there was 33 U's, so he's took 31, so that's another group of 31, so we're getting on well now. And the two not tucked out 60 odd. Let's crack on to the next group and hopefully it won't be dark by then. So we're just on the way to the third group, just a little bit of a walk down the footpath before we get there. So this group is south of Indiana Jones. To tell you guys just before, the, but just before we get there, he has just gone lame a little bit on the back legs. So he's um, coming out in not too long from these years, like all the rest, like I said before. But um, yeah, hopefully he's tucked them all. But that might be an explanation if he hasn't quite done them all. 
so we'll just see how he's got on and um, yeah they're just the other size fields so we'll cut off now and I'll catch up with you on the way over there so we've just got down to the third group right in front of me now we've got the top so that's south from indiana jones and a ewe that is just up because i've seen it with my own eyes i'll um, get as close as i can but he's just a little lame <coughs> on his back left leg but it should be fine this can happen with tupping a lot of people say that oh no the sheep don't go lame but in tupping and the tuts do a lot of work they can just go off the legs a little but normally they're fine and they'll be all right once they come out from the ears because hormones will settle down and they'll be all right again so we'll go count up these ewes and see how many is tucked. That's one over there, so obviously he's been done. We'll do the same again and count the ones that haven't been tucked. So these are a bit more spread out, but shouldn't take too much longer. This girl's been tucked, that's a really smart ewe. So if I remember right, it's a really old ewe that I bought from Will Williams about four years ago from a sale. Yeah, so just carry on. Have a look, but nothing so far I can see hasn't been tucked. At the second little group of ewes now that they're all here. So far all these have been tucked. There's four there, a few here. But as you can see they've all got blue bums. We'll carry on walking and see if any more. Or what hasn't been tucked rather. Blue bums, blue bums, blue bums. More blue bums. Good kill. Now at the final group of ewes in this little group, so there's 35 ewes in with this tup. And as I can see, all these have been tucked. Just those four there to check. He may have tucked everything. So all four of them have been tucked. And all them too. Really good news again here. So every, every ewe in this group has been tucked. We'll pop over to the next, that's 35 in here done. There's 50 more ewes up there, and then we'll have a grand total of what's been tucked and what hasn't within one cycle. So we just managed to get down to the last group before it goes dark. I'm going to have a drive around these because they literally spread all out of the 15 acre field. So it's going to take forever to walk. We'll see how many have been tucked. I reckon most of these we took, maybe one or two missing. We'll um, see how Goliath's got on. These looking pretty good. Oh, I can see one without an orange bum. So we're just coming up to Goliath now. He's there. And there's one there he hasn't took, but it looks like he may well do tonight. That's a fairly close and sniffing. Um, and a lot now. I can't see any more that haven't been took here yet. So as I said, there's a few more in here. So Goliath's got 50 years. That's just probably because he's in all the top and I want as much offspring as I can out of him. That's the first half of the field check, so we're going to pop over the bridge. So down this field there's a little stream and a bridge to get over it. And the rest are used for the other half. So they've all been tucked by one in that half. Hopefully it'll be the same story in the other. Maybe even none haven't been tucked. Well, crack on and see. Just going around these now, so these are the first five just across the bridge, so the bridge is there. Uh, all of those have been tucked, we'll crack on down the field. So, how are you? That's another tucked, another tucked, another one, another one. Um, oh, this is looking very promising. So we've just got four more to look at. Um, she's been tucked there. Uh, we've got one here that hasn't been. She hasn't got an orange bum. And um, finally, the last two of the field. Sod's law, they won't have been tucked. No. And yes. That's the final group check now, and there's 47 out of 50 tucked in here. So the last three in here are shearlings, and to prove a point, there was actually out of the last 10 in this group, seven were the shillings that had lambs so it showed they are getting in land but they're probably just coming to cycle a little later so um yeah they are coming in and that's 47 so the grand total now is 47 31 35 and 31 so the total that is 31 62 
97, 104, 144 out of 150 off the top of my head, so it might be 151. But yeah, that's all the years gone through. I know it's been a bit of a similar video to one of the week or two ago, guys, but I think the people on the channel that do watch that are fairly interested how we're getting on with tupping, so I've done this. And then the next video I'll probably do with this is um, the new tuck coming in with all the U's. So the end of this week, I am doing a cultivation video Saturday for all you guys. That should be pretty cool. So I think I'll be off rolling. I might be plowing. But yeah, we'll do some footage of some flat rolling, some Cambridge rolling, some plowing, or some drilling. So great video for you guys to get your teeth into, and that should be really cool. But yeah, as the light is going very quickly, I'd just like to say a massive thank you for watching today, guys. And if you did like the video today, guys, please give it a massive thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, please subscribe. Don't forget, hit the little bell icon because so you get notifications when all the videos are. And don't forget, videos every Wednesday and Saturday at half seven. Cheers for watching, guys. Thank you.